Hey everybody, it's Steve, and today I'm going to be looking into the Solana blockchain, showing you how to get your funds out of Binance US and onto the Solet wallet, and then I'm also going to be taking a moment to put those funds into the Radium decks to start doing some yield farming over on Solana. So I hope you stick around for this one. If you haven't had somebody really walk you through this in a way that I walk you through stuff, I think you'll be glad that you check out my video because I was watching some Solana videos today and I'm like, these people are not explaining things very well. And it was really annoying, especially the radium pools. Nobody even talks about them or took time to understand what they were. They take you straight to the farms. We all know how to yield farm at this point if we're into DeFi and yield farming. So the real key is understanding a little bit more about what is on radium and what they are doing, including their launch pad. I want gonna, I'm going to do my own video on that in the future, so I'm only going to touch on it today, but look forward for that one. And I'm going to show you the first site to launch vaults at the end of this video, and they're going to be my very next video. But we'll give a really quick little tease of that one coming up. Okay, so we'll start off by just talking about the price of Solana. Uh, there's been a big market correction today, but Solana really didn't drop that much. It's at $43. I got into Solana only at $41. I am not one of the lucky people that got in a year ago and is up 7,000% on this chain. I'm just not that early. I tend to not be that early to chains, and I'm going to try to change that in the future. That's why I, I am just trying to pay more attention to what's coming out and make sure that I'm able to show it to you. But we, we are at a point here where we are at a market cap of 11 million, which is not, I mean, 11 billion, which is pretty big, but you're going to see that this place is still very small. And as more stuff starts to grow here and more projects start to launch here and they get to enjoy these really cheap fees and these really fast speeds, assuming they can make their chain very stable, because I know it had an issue on one of their first token launches and that's not good. But when you're on the chain, when things are a little bit rough, like if you would have been on Binance chain when pancake self was a dollar and just dealt with all the problems you would have been pretty happy so maybe we need to be on solana when it's in the 40s so that when it's in the 600s like binance chain we're not you know left in the dust are totally being left out and that's not impossible if you go ahead and you go to the market cap and we kind of just talk re real quickly you got bnb which is a which is a chain that isn't even as cheap and not as fast and not in theory as scalable as solana and it's sitting up here at number three with a market cap of 98 billion so to imagine that this could do a 6x and go from an 11 or 12 billion market cap to say a 60 billion market cap only puts it up here with Cardano and Cardano isn't even having smart contracts yet. So you can see how this platform could definitely steal away some of the Ethereum market cap or some of the Binance chain market cap if more people start to move their coins over there to get involved in what is now going to be brand new projects and brand new farms. So let's go ahead and get into the first little thing that I'm going to show you, and that's the Solet extension wallet. So this is the one I decided to use for my video just because it is the most established one of the wallets. Phantom is just coming out now, and it actually looks like it's going to be slicker, but I, I downloaded it. I had a promo code for it. Um, the promo code is actually Soul Farm if you want to try to get the Phantom. Uh, extension wallet that's the invite co uh, code it's that's the farm we're going to be looking at at the very end of this video they they tweeted that out but it's only good for a few thousand people so no guarantee that's going to work but this this little extension wallet it's it, it works fine as you can see i've already got my soul sitting over here i've already added my tokens a little thing to know you need to put soul in the wallet first before you can add other tokens because there is an extremely small transaction to add tokens to your wallet. That does also mean that you're not gonna add tokens that you don't plan to use, but these are the tokens I plan to use in my next few videos. I'm gonna do one on the STEP USDC because it has an absolutely amazing, crazy APR, and I'm gonna be doing just Ray and Soul as I feel like these are the two tokens that are the most likely to really grow. And I'm just gonna be holding some Soul for a little while. Um, if anybody knows of a site that's doing staking for just Soul token, without you having to put it into a wallet and just and put it in a staking mode, uh, a web version. I've been looking for that, haven't found it. So let me know in the comments if you know about that. So 
Here's radium. So radium is, they're calling themselves the evolution of DeFi. Make sure you click on this read more before you get into this. You need to do your own research. I'm showing you how to do it, but you should know why you're doing it because you shouldn't do things just because I tell you to. I'm not a financial advisor and I'm just going to be showing you this. So first let's go through the site really quick and then I'll go ahead and show you me actually getting some liquidity set up. So they have a swap function. That's pretty good. One of the things that's pretty interesting is they actually have trading tools here, which you don't see on a lot of DEXs right away. So I'm going to just give you a quick look. Oh, of course, it flashed away as soon as I came over here. But this is the Ray USDT chart. It's just what comes up if you go to the trading pairs. But you do have the ability to do limit prices here already. So that is pretty interesting to see. And it does look like we are at a place, at least on the hour chart, that Radium's been bouncing off of for support. So I think I'm getting in at a pretty good moment here at about this 1285. But I don't know for sure. It is down a little bit. This is a token that can be farmed. Farm tokens tend to go down in value unless they're pancake swap or uni swap and then they have a lot of functionality and that's where this accelerator comes in but we'll talk about that in a, after we take a quick look at the liquidity pools as you can see the trading platform does launch on a different tab so that one is the only one the rest you'll just be able to go through so this actually i'm sorry this is where you would add liquidity we'll come back to here in a moment so the pools the pools are very interesting so one of the things that happens on solana that i found out is that when you enter pools you're not actually entering pools on um, radium or you're entering them all on the serum ecosystem because the serum dex was the first one that was going and the, and the idea they're having them work with here is that all liquidity pools will work together so you won't have an arbitrage opportunity between the different pools because everything is going to be netted into one giant liquidity pool and all trading done on all dexes will work into those liquidity pools and then rewards will be given out to them now every single front end like radium can put rewards on top of their pools to have you theoretically come here and add your liquidity here and each one will play their little games and have their little things and have their little extras that make you want to come and use their front end so that they can maybe add some fees into the system or do other things but it's just something to note that also since this marketplace is young there are some liquidity pools that have very very high returns so, but so serum usdc you probably have to risk a lot of impermanent loss if you're in there but it's earning 200 percent on fees <laughs> you um, you're also getting a lot if you're in the, any of the any of the soul USDT or USDC pairs there's an ETH USDC but obviously if you were in that you'd be getting really bad and permanent loss when ETH blew up um, you have a SUSI so if you're willing to get into these dangerous USDT pairs on these on these assets that might be going up a lot in the future you're still getting pretty high rewards for being a liquidity provider into those assets higher than I've really ever seen for just supplying your liquidity so this might be something for you to check out if you're somebody who has these assets and doesn't mind the fact that you might be riding them going up and down a lot because 33% on link USDT is is pretty impressive I haven't seen these kind of numbers anywhere else when it comes to liquidity rewards and so it really confused me for a little bit because I'm not used to seeing liquidity pools with rewards of up to 200% so I know these used to be even higher I've seen some videos that they were way way high so sorry I didn't show it to you sooner but I thought I should show it to you we're gonna take a quick look at their farms so the farms are kind of interesting for Ray this is where you can actually farm the Ray token only right now in these six pools so they all involve the Ray token and farming into some form of their liquidity so the Ray USD pair is paying the highest at 127 uh, and the same thing about 125 if you go into USDC but then you're going to be getting impermanent losses Ray goes up and down against the dollar so one of the things that I've heard that's kind of interesting is to either look into the Ray serum protocol which is still at 100 percent or the Ray uh, uh, SOL protocol um, for Solana because those prices should be kind of correlated to each other and while Solana might move up Ray should in theory follow if Solana is moving up and if they both go down they'll go bound down together a little bit so their relative price to each other hopefully should stay the same so I'm actually going to be going into the Ray Solana pair right now and I'm going to be looking a little bit more into the serum one as it pays a little bit more so I could switch to that one later on but for this example I'm going to be going into the Ray uh, Sol liquidity farm just to show you how to get into there they also have another area where they call fusion farms so they have farms on their pool where you can earn two types of rewards so if you're interested in any of these tokens which are all basically early solana projects you have frida oxygen maps kin 
cope step and the new media token that they launched in their accelerator you're going to see that you can go ahead and stake into these pools then you can put your liquidity over here and you're either going to earn ray token and that token as in these first ones that say they are dual yield or you're going to earn this other token so it's the ability to go ahead and use this platform to stake your liquidity to earn the the cope token the step token or the media token and those are all paying at pretty high aprs then they do have just straight staking for the ray token and this has to do with their accelerator and i want to do my own video to completely explain this so that i don't get in Thing wrong but from what I understand you need to be staking your tokens over here and that gets you access into their launches over here I haven't figured out if they have KYC rules or how they are any of those things going on yet over here I know that those are normally needed for token launches but as you can see they did do their first a token here uh, the media token it launched at 10 USDC per token and you they, there was this many tokens for sale and they sold it out very very quickly so there was the ray pool and the community pool so there, those are two separate ones um, I'm gonna do a better video on this because I haven't spent enough time to understand it perfectly but I wanted to at least let you know they have this going on so now we're gonna get into the actual supplying of liquidity and so first I'm gonna need to do a swap so I'm gonna need to connect my wallet so I do have the Solit extension. You can kind of see some of the other ones that you can use here. Uh, the SoLong is, a, is an interesting looking wallet that you could check out, but it had poor reviews, not a lot, as many users using it. So I went with the Solit wallet. Um, I'm gonna let it automatically approve transactions just for this video to make things a little bit quicker and I'm gonna connect. Okay, so now I need to get some Ray. So I'm gonna flip that and then I'm gonna select Sol. Now I'm not looking to uh, put all of my soul tokens into these farms because just in case just soul goes for a ride in the next few months I want to have a little basket of those so today for this example I'm going to be planning to putting 10 of them into this protocol so I'm going to swap over five which will get me 16 of the ray token so that's something that I'm going to jot down because I do want to remember my initial ratios you should do this too uh, just so that you know that you you know what cost you did when you got into a pool and then we'll do a swap function you see it's going to say making the transaction that would normally be where you had to approve but i had to approve it and there it is confirmed so there's that speed and this uh, cost is very 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 cheap there is almost it's almost negligible at this time now as solana goes up in value if it becomes a token worth hundreds and hundreds of dollars then it might be similar to binance smart chain if they don't do any kind of adjustment like binance smart chain has been doing to their own change to keep the price down we'll have to see if the governance will allow things like that okay so now i need to go over to liquidity this should all kind of look normal to you but just showing you how easy it is on this one so obviously you always max out the side of the smaller token it looks like i'm only going to have to supply 4.96 for the max that i got of 16.4 and so i actually got only 16.4 so let me adjust that little note and then i'm going to go ahead and supply the liquidity it looks like I still have to approve when you're supplying liquidity. I guess that's good to know. Maybe it only does the auto approve on certain transactions. So we should wait for that. And as you can see, it went through very, very quickly. So now my things are adjusted here. And now I'm gonna go over here to the farm. I'm gonna go to the Ray Sol LP. I'm gonna hit stake. I have a balance as you can see. I'm gonna do a max. I'm gonna do a confirm that's going to come up I'm going to go ahead and approve as you can see this is all uh, really quick it works really well there are no problems I went ahead and I got my my token staking so now I would just have to come back here and go ahead and harvest these once in a while just like any other liquidity farm I will be getting ray tokens and then once I get them I can look to try to get back some of my initial investment by going ahead and exchanging them out for soul tokens and you can see you know the pending reward changed pretty quick we are at 70 percent apr on two tokens that i think are you know most people would say that these have a good future for them as long as this chain succeeds so that's pretty cool but let me show you something that i am going to be possibly doing with these liquidity tokens but i don't know if i want to move all of them over so we'll go ahead and take a quick little peek at soul farm so soul farm is your first vaults that i've seen on the 
Solana ecosystem. And so what this is basically doing is they are going to be adding farms from other places, including they have the Ray ones. So as you can see, they have the Ray Sol LP here. And if you put your tokens in here, they will auto compound them. They will claim out the ray. They will turn the ray. They will do the transaction of making the ray into like selling half for soul, adding the liquidity, and then putting it back into your stake for you the same way other vaults would do it. And they will grow your LP tokens at 102% uh, per year. And you can see over here, the one that I'm going to be showing you in my next video how to get into is this one, the STEP USDC. And I will have to admit that the STEP token has gone down in value quite a bit. It's been a bumpy ride. They've been having really, 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 really big rewards on their farming. And that's probably why the token has gone down so far. I imagine that that emission schedule is going to change a little bit. And I just right now at this point, it went on another big dump. So I'm going to be looking to do a video showing you me getting these tokens into here. And that'll be released shortly after this one. So thanks, everybody. I just wanted to say if you enjoy this kind of educational content, me showing you how to get into these uh, farms like I've been doing, make sure to subscribe and support the channel with liking the videos. Thanks. Goodbye.